Hey guys, in this video we'll be talking about gravitational force and this is a very common force. We also call it gravity or simply in technical terms it would become gravitational force. Now what is gravitational force? Basically, this is a, a very uh, proper misunderstanding. Gravitational force is simply the force that the gravity or at your case, at your level, the force that the earth exerts on a mass. So it is the force that earth exerts on a mass. So we can call it, let's say, F force of gravity, Fg. But instead of using this, our very creative scientists made one more symbol for this, which is the same as the force of gravity, and this is weight. So weight basically and when you say um, my weight is this or I weigh that much or whatever let's say you weigh 80 newtons so very commonly you have uh, you've seen people saying I weigh 80 kilograms so let me tell you when you say you have uh, a weight of 80 kilograms so kilograms is not weight kilograms is a different story weight is force and the proper units for force is newtons. It's not measured in kilograms. So if you were saying that you have a weight of 80 kilograms, you are saying something wrong. So correct yourself if you were doing that. So weight is basically a force that is exerted on every mass or on any mass by the earth. Now, the direction of, and the units of weight is definitely the units of force, which is newtons. So, the direction of weight or the direction of gravitational force, we can use this interchangeably. Force of gravitation or weight, these are the same things. So, the direction of weight or the direction of force of gravity is always towards the earth, it's always downwards. No matter what happens, no matter where the acceleration is, where the velocity is, where the net, where's, where whatever is, where the friction is, the weight always acts downwards. So, we know all this. Now, there is one more important part. Because of uh, uh, the, the weight, or the, because of the mass, uh, I'm sorry, because of the mass of every object, the earth depending on that mass and we have found out the depending on the mass the earth is uh, ex so we know all that okay and depending on the 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 situation the uh, earth ha every mass let's say experiences a gravitational acceleration when it's under a certain gravity when it's under a cer certain region, it accelerates at a certain uh, acceleration, let's say. So, the acceleration of gravity on Earth, I'll tell you what this means. Acceleration of gravity on Earth is denoted by small g and the value is 9.81 meters per second square which is sometimes approximately taken as 10 meters per second square and we have also discussed this in the lectures involving free fall so from that you know that the gravitation acceleration is 9.81 meters per second square so every object on earth if there were no air resistance it would fall with the same acceleration because of gravity because there would only be one force so if there were no air resistance 
it would every object would fall with an acceleration of 9.1 meter 9.81 meters per second square which is the force of acceleration of gravity on earth now let's say f is equals to m a and this is the object and let's say it's falling from a height so the and it's a vacuum there's no air resistance i'm just assuming this situation it's an ideal situation but i'm just assuming this one there's no air resistance so let's say this is an object and it is falling so this force why is it falling this force is the pull of gravity of gra of the earth on this mass which is let's say 10 kilograms so this is f g or weight so if i need to find out the weight of an object or the force exerted by gravity on an object i would simply use the formula f is equals to ma where f in this case becomes fg force of gravity because that is the only force or the net force is equals to m times a now i can also call fg as w now w is equals to m times a and since there is no air resistance i am assuming that the x since there is no air resistance and even if there is a little air resistance in our like our normal conditions this uh, this value doesn't change it doesn't change much so the acceleration in this case okay the acceleration in this case becomes exactly equal to g which is 9.81 meters per second square this acceleration becomes equal to g in this case when it's falling it's freely falling so i can replace this this acceleration in this case as with acceleration of gravity or i can say that w is equals to m times this is simply g or the gravitational acceleration so this is the formula to calculate weight now let's see let's just take an example let's say i have a mass i have a mass of let's say uh, 40 kilograms now when i when i say my ma my weight is 40 kilograms it's wrong because kilograms is the unit of mass so when you say something is 40 kilograms it's your mass it's not your weight so if i have a, a mass of 40 kilograms and i am on earth this is an earthly situation so if i have if i have a mass of 40 kilograms if i want to find out my weight or the force of gravity acting on this 40 kilograms simply the formula states w is equals to m times g and since this is earth w is equals to 40 times 9.81 so for simplicity uh, let's just say this is 10 let's just or let's just use the accurate value so the weight becomes 40 times 9.81 which is equals to 392 okay let me just 392.4 newtons now this is your weight this is the force of gravity acting on an object this is your weight so for every mass on earth you multiply it with the gravitational acceleration and you get the weight but let's say let's take an example let's just say you are not on earth anymore and you are on moon and you have a mass of 40 kilograms again and you want to find out the weight or the force of gravity on moon now your first instinct would tell you that you would simply go on with w is equals to m times g where m is 40 and g would be 9.81 but remember this value is fixed only when we are in earth but when we travel to moon this 
no more stays the same. So this is not the case anymore. Because the gravity on moon is different. The, the gravitational force on moon is different. And so gravitational force on different regions as in uh, different planets and different stars can be very different. So for that, we will have to find out the gravitational acceleration of that particular region. So right now, I, can, I am telling you, let's say the acceleration on moon is one sixth or one, time, one over six of the acceleration on earth as in the gravitational acceleration on moon is one sixth of the acceleration on earth so let's find out the gravitational acceleration of uh, on moon this would be one over six times nine point eight one meters per second square which becomes equals to nine point eight one divided by six which is one point six three five meters per second square now this is the gravitational acceleration of moon and we will call it G moon let's say gravitational acceleration of moon now if I want to find out the weight of the same object on moon it would give me 40 times 1.635 the weight would be 65.4 newtons now this is surprising because in, uh, the, uh, in the example before, we got a reading. The, the weight of the same mass was 392 kilograms. Sorry, 392 newtons. And here it's 65.4 newtons. So, I mean, you would ask me, Adil, how can the weight change? As in, uh, I mean, you are weighing different on two different places. How is that possible? Well, yes, that is possible. That is very much possible. So, if you, if this is moon, and this is earth let's say uh, you have a mass which is hanging on this say hanging balance and you have a mass here of the same mass let's say but it's the same mass it's the same mass m these both both of them are the same so on moon it would show me a weight of let's say Six, uh, if this was 40 kilograms this would show me 65.4 newtons and this would show me 392.4 newtons so uh, it depends on different regions. let's say there's uh, a deep hole inside the earth where the gravitational acceleration of that deep hole is let's say 18 meters per second square now if I find if I go there and uh, take the same mass there and find out the weight of that same mass well it would be different let's see what the weight would be there so weight is equals to 40 times 18 the weight would be 720 newtons so it would seem or it would weigh to, uh, to be heavier than the the, uh, the weights on earth and moon the, the same for the same mass so you can see that the weight can change and that depends on the gravitational acceleration however the mass will not change as if I have the mass of 40 kilograms on earth remember they always try to confuse you with this if you have a mass of 40 kilograms on earth if you take it to moon let's say this is me taking it to moon Oh yeah, so much for the, the excitement. Um, so let's say it's on the moon now. The mass will always be equals to 40 kilograms. The mass is an unchangeable property. It cannot change. Even by force, it cannot change. If, even if you just try to compress it or try to use some creative something, it cannot change. So a mass, the, uh, the mass of an object is an unchangeable property. However, the weight or the gravitational force on an object is a changeable property and that depends on the region where you have where you are hanging the mass so that totally depends so I hope you have an understanding of this we will be doing some examples on this and uh, uh, you will be um, much more clear
on this topic. So thanks for watching guys.